Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I am here to do your daily reading, my darlings. This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. Um, just take what resonates, toss what doesn't. You know, if it's not for you, don't try to force it, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, uh, all of the support. Really, thank you to all of my subscribers, everybody who's new here. Hi. Thank you so much, you guys. Okay, so a card already fell off of the bottom, so we're going to keep that out. But anyway, how you guys doing today? I love my cancers, I got to say. I love you guys. You're my peeps. I always want to get on here and just, like, have a conversation with you. But I know you're like, we don't have time for that, Becca. All right? Anyway, divine. And look, temperance angel on the bottom of the, of the deck. You guys are so awesome. Divine, what do you have for cancer today? Okay, what's this? Yeah, man. Yeah. You guys know I'm, I try to be neat, but I'm not neat. Yeah, they want to work on this now, cancer. Um... Yeah. All right, Cancer. I got to I got to say I'm feeling a little bit off right here, okay? Not me, but the energy, okay? Um this is a big red flag for me, Cancer. Right in here these four cards, this one too, all of this row is a big red flag for me. Um what I'm seeing here is a masculine energy that came in uh, you know, when when you guys were together, this person came to you. They said they were going to choose you. Um, they uh, they seemed like they had their life put together. This could be somebody that you really looked up to. Um, this is somebody who is well liked in their community. You know, they they seemed like they were on the up and up when they came towards you, right? But I feel like this person had in the background. They had other um, options in the background. I'm seeing a lot of feminine energies back here that may have really wanted this person, okay? So I feel like this person was hiding the fact that they had some options. Then what they did was they, they came in, they made you big promises, right? They walked away from you, okay? And they just kind of stood here, all right? They just kind of stood on it in, in the middle of a decision to make between you and maybe two other people even, um, and they stood here with their back turned towards you for so long that you don't feel the same way anymore, okay? All the emotion is out of that lake bed. Um, now what I am seeing though, it's really interesting, is after all this time, this person who thought that they, you know, this person who once came in maybe even thinking that they were better than you, they may have even been um, in their ego, that kind of thing. They said they were going to choose you, but I feel like this person wasn't really wanting to choose anybody, okay? Because they didn't make a decision here. They didn't take any action. Now, if you notice this, this person, they're off their horse, okay? If they were well established before, I don't think they are anymore, all right? Um, and they're just, they're on foot now. So they could be coming towards you, and I feel like they are, but I feel like it's for a reason, Cancer. I feel like they're around somebody else. Whoever they had with them, they're still with them. And I feel like the central focus here, Cancer, in your reading is that there's a, a possibly a karmic individual, this little page of swords, um, is planning on making a plan to steal from you or take something from you, okay? And I feel like they're including this person in on it. And this person really, I feel like they're, um, they've been knocked off their high horse, number one. This masculine has been knocked off their high horse. They're no longer on the horse. They're on foot, all right? And I feel like they don't have a whole lot of options around them anymore, okay? Um, they may be feeling kind of sad and regretful as to how they treated you before. But this page here is coming up with a plan. And they want to include this person, okay, 
on this plan. And I feel like it's it's like an attack against you, Cancer, and this connection, okay? Now this page knows that you've got a connection, a tight connection with this person. And they're saying like, you know what, we're going to make this plan because I, I feel like they're working, but they're not really getting ahead. Um, they, they could be extremely low on their finances, okay? Um, extremely low on money, and they see you as having wish fulfillment, okay? Uh, like you've been on a come up, you could have a lot of abundance here. And this karmic is making a plan to send this masculine in to take it. They're planning this together. What I'm, what I'm kind of hearing here is the page saying to this person, hey, let's come up with a plan to go steal from cancer, take whatever they've got, right? You go in, you offer them a cup of love because I know that, uh, I know that cancer is a soulmate connection, right? And, uh, and, and they've got wish fulfillment, which is what we want. So they're telling this person to go in and take from you. This is a plan. This is a plan that they're making. If you love bomb cancer, you know, they'll take you back. And once you're in there, take whatever you can. Or maybe they're trying to ruin um, whatever you've got going on. This could also be somebody who could be talking about you behind your back. But I feel like it's an in and out job is what they want this so that they can bring your abundance back to them since they don't have much. Okay. Yeah, Cancer, I'm not liking how I I'm not liking what I'm feeling about this. I got to say. And they know that this person, if they love bomb you, that this person may have a chance to get back into your good graces and take from you. This is a plan that's. Um, that the karmic is coming up with, but it almost seems like they're trying to talk your this masculine energy into going along with the plan. And I feel like they're already pretty regretful here. Okay, they're they've been knocked off their high horse. They they don't have. I feel like this person could have been flashy before, or just thought that they were better, or thought that they had a lot of money. Maybe they felt pretty regal in their in their ego. Uh, but not anymore. They're on foot now. They don't have the wreath on their head anymore. I feel like this person, um, yeah, through this wait period and the desert dry, look at this dry desert barren wasteland here that they're staring at. Yeah, they've been knocked down to size, but, but the karmic knows if this person comes in and love bombs you, they could have a chance at taking whatever you've got. Um, I'm getting so many warning readings out here for people. Um, yeah, and I feel like this, this masculine is kind of thinking, I don't know, should I, shouldn't I? For real, they're kind of thinking about it. So I feel like these two are, ki are, are planning something together here. Um, clarify the seven of swords for cancer. Thank you. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That could be this, this karmic energy. Uh, Gemini over here too. Yeah, they're trying to tell this person, get in there and take some action. Go for it. Go get whatever Cancer's got. Yeah, this person's immature. I feel like these two are planning together. I really do. I really do. There could be, an, you may get an invitation out from this person. Here's the thing. They're going to go in, but they're going to know that they're coming right back out again, Cancer. With the Page of Wands here, I'm really feeling like um, they know they're not going to stick around. This is part of the plan. And I feel like this King of Swords, who may be committed to this Page of Swords, um, they're thinking strategically on what they're going to say to you. Okay, I don't like the looks of this, you guys. I got to say, I don't like the looks of this at all. Yeah, that was on the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're supposed to just 
stay in your own lane, Cancer. Keep moving forward. I'm seeing this as another warning, guys. I'm not kidding. Why? You know, I've, I've gotten really good ones, really good readings with good messages, positive stuff, but I don't know why. The divine, <laughs> the divine wants me to get a lot of warnings out. I've been getting a lot of warnings about these people. Yeah, see, they're feeling like a fool now because they're out in the cold. This person doesn't have it. Neither one of these people have any money. Neither one of them have any money. And I feel like they're coming towards you, Cancer. Yeah, the Queen of Swords here is telling this person to go towards you. They're burdened about it, though. Okay, and I feel like they're burdened about money, but they're about to reach out to tell you that they, um, they want to start over, Cancer. They are carrying this burden. It's like part of them thinks that they can get money from you. I feel like it's money or something. They want to sabotage something for you. And I feel like this is this is this uh, the person that they're with, right? The Queen of Swords saying, you're going to go in there and you're going to do this. You're going to go in there and you're going to do this because we're broke. We're destitute. We could lose our home. We could lose our finances, our business, right? We're out in the cold. You got to go in there and do this. Because, you know, like I said before, um, not in this reading, but others, look at, they've got no green grass here. Nothing is growing for these people. They're in the snow, in the cold. And over here with you, it's all green grass. So I know that they're, I feel like they're coming in for money. It's a plan, Cancer. This is a plan. I don't know who this is for, but this, and you know, I kind of feel, I have to say it, I know you guys are going to be upset, but in a way I kind of feel bad for this masculine because they really have been knocked off their high horse. They're broke. They could be destitute. They could be about to lose a job or a home. And they're, they, you know, they're hearing about this plan, right, to come in and sabotage you. And it, you can just tell this person really doesn't want to do it. But I feel like they're they're gonna go ahead with this plan that was thought up by the karmic. Yeah, they're saying to themselves, you know what? Cancer could be very naive at this time because you've been wounded. Because you've been wounded by this person, so they they may know that you've been waiting to hear from this person. And this, I feel like this masculine is burdened by this, but they're like. Um, and they're feeling guarded over this, but I feel like they're going to go through with this plan, Cancer. I think they're going to go through with it because they're sitting here now trying to hold on to whatever they've got. Okay, it's like they don't want to do this because they already feel bad, I think, for how they treated you. I feel like they've been standing here with their back turned, but they've been kind of hoping to hear from you or... Um, they ha they haven't stopped thinking about you that's for sure that's for sure and even though they hate this idea and it makes them feel burdened as far as their conscience okay their character i feel like they're going to try it anyway cuz they're coming forward here cancer you're about to hear from this person they're going to tell you um that yeah, but I had the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is going to end up in heartbreak, Cancer. They're going to tell you they want a new beginning. They're going to tell you they want to get together. But, um, you know, with the Page of Swords out, or Page of Wands out here, this person, they're only playing a game. They're not planning on staying. They're not. But here you are as a star, right? Um, they're going to tell you they want to be happy with you, Cancer. But I feel like this is, to me, it just feels like a plan. A plan to come in and take from you. And you know, you've got this loving, nurturing, healing energy, right? This person may even play on your spiritualism like, hey, can you can you open me up to this too, right? Um, yeah, but... This is a narcissist, Cancer. This person has some narcissistic tendencies here. 
I feel like, um, yes. Yeah, this person wants to control, maybe control your abundance. Um, I feel like it's a plan. I got to say, that's the, that's truly the feeling that I'm getting here, Cancer. And I've got to get the warning out to you guys. So please use your intuition. Okay, use your intuition. Because I feel like there's a part of this person who just, it's like when they know what they've got to do, they go in and they do it and try to take their emotions out of it, right? They try to take their emotions out of it. So I feel like um, even though their conscience is really weighing on them over this, and they're feeling really burdened about what they're about to do, I feel like they're still going to come in and do it, Cancer. You need to use your, yeah, look, it's your money that they're looking at. Yes, see? Because you're an empress. You're extremely abundant, very independent. I feel like they want to try to figure out a way to take this away from you. I really do. Yeah, as soon as that page came out with the Five of Swords, or Seven of Swords, was it? Yeah, Seven of Swords. I. That's the feeling I'm getting here. You know, deep down inside, this person knows that they shouldn't have walked away from you in the first place. They're going to tell you that too. But that part is true because you are so abundant, because you are wish fulfillment here, because you're the Ten of Cups, and you're very independent and, and uh, financially secure, I feel. Yeah, this is like an idea here. I feel like this is a plan. How can I get back in there and take advantage of um, Cancer's riches, right? Everything you have going on. And it doesn't matter if you're if you're you've got a lot of money or not. If you're if you're doing better than these people are, um, which they don't have a lot. They've got two pentacles, three pentacles, and four pentacles. That's it. You know, this person maybe maybe the um, it is weighing heavy on their mind, and they're trying to figure out a different way to bring in money. Okay, a different way to grow their money because they don't want to go along with this idea. They're really burdened by it, but this is something that they're considering. They're considering doing this. Okay. All right. Show me the hangman. It's almost like they it's almost like they they're getting messages I feel like they know they shouldn't do it, right? But they're so upside down in their life and stuck. And this plan that the karmic is making sounds good to them. This person could be doing a lot of drinking about this they are very burdened they're trying to it, like I said they're wondering should I or shouldn't I I mean that's like it's kind of a true t yeah because they want this freaking money or they want they could want a new beginning with you cancer too that's what they're going to tell you I feel like that's what they're going to tell you but it's toxic I'm telling you that this is what it is they're it's a I feel like it's a plan with this with the she devil here to get money from you because you've got what they want. You've got their wish fulfillment. And they don't have much. Like I said, they've got two, three, four pentacles. Okay, I feel like, yeah, and they're getting burned here. It's like the karmic is kind of pushing this person to do it. All right. Yeah, it's completely toxic. Please be careful, guys. Let me call out the signs for you. Um, I've got Pisces out here, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or that could be um, the karmics too, is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I've got Capricorn here, um, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
and maybe Leo. Clarify the devil. Yeah, this person, they know, it's like they know it's wrong to do this, Cancer. They know it's wrong. But still, there's something about your money that's their wish fulfillment. Okay? There's something about your blessings. I feel like these people are making a plan to come and look what's on the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords. I was just thinking about it too. I'm like, if the Five of Swords comes out, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to freak out, but yeah, it, it's true, Cancer. This is a plan to sabotage you, my darlings. And it's a heartbreaking plan. I feel like you're, you may even know about this. You may feel it, or you're going to sense it when this person comes towards you. You're going to pick up on all the red flags. You know what's really heartbreaking, I feel, about this, Cancer? Yeah, especially with this, with the temperance angel out. You're not going to be heartbroken, really, that um, that once again people are trying to like take advantage of you. You're going to be heartbroken because I feel like you're really trying to believe in this masculine and believe that they've got a stronger character than what they're showing you. And I feel like the disappointment in this person after this long freaking wait time to hear from them, I feel like that's the part that's going to be heartbreaking. You're going to realize that this is a plan, or you're going to feel something cancer, okay? And I feel like the, the heartbreaking part is that that apology that you've been waiting for for so long actually has a fish in that cup. Pisces energy. Yeah, you've been so patient, and for what? For people to plan plot and strategize against you behind your back and then come in and try to play you and destroy what you've got. You know, I feel like this person, you're going to send them away. They're going to end up feeling completely ashamed of themselves because you know what? They're trying to screw over probably the most loving person they'll ever meet. Cancer, you know, as Queen of Cups energy, not only are you intuitive and spiritual, but this is the most loving queen in the deck. And you would have given this person your love. I feel like if they had shown you um, a shred of a decent character, you would have shared your blessings with them. Okay, you would have given them your love again. But this is going to make you feel so disappointed in this person. It's literally a true test of their character here. I feel like you, you may even tell them that I'm so freaking disappointed and ashamed of you right now because I feel like you, you really um, had patience that this person was going to, I don't know, do better, be a, stand up, step it up and be a better human being, right? Show a better character give you a real apology here, but in all actuality, Cancer, this person is coming in to do something that's extremely heartbreaking, and that is to once again use you, plotting after planning and plotting with the karmic. I feel like they want to take what's yours, so this person wants, wants to either take what's yours or destroy it, or bring it back to the karmic, because they're broke. So this person's going to once again try to put you in a third-party situation. The apology in this cup and the love bombing, I feel like it's not real. Okay? Um, and, uh, yeah, I feel like this is totally to sabotage. I feel like you're going to send them away, um, realizing the truth, seeing the... the um, red flags about this person, you know, standing in your strength and your boundaries. And I feel like they're gonna they're gonna have to um, now think about what they were trying to plan against the most loving queen in the deck. It's shameful. It's absolutely shameful. And I think that's the part that's gonna disappoint you the most. You waited all this time for this person to do right by you, and here they're coming in to do something sick and twisted okay that's what's happening here all at the advice of a karmic 
What else can you show me for cancer? What else do you have for cancer? Yeah, you don't you don't see it. That this person's going to be hiding a lot. They're going to know that they're coming in to sabotage you, Cancer. They're going to they may even be acting kind of weird. It's going to be something about the way they act, something about the way they say, but you're going to realize they're they're hiding something here, something big. And it's really just, yeah, look, it's a plan for your money. They want your money. So, you know, just be very careful in dealing with this person. I feel like they're not going to tell you that they're coming in with a plan to sabotage you, Cancer. Okay, and look what fell on the floor is uh, the Ace of Wands in reverse. Don't jump into anything, right? Don't agree to anything. Um, if you have, because some people are coming back, Cancer, um, realizing their mistakes and changing, okay? Some of them are coming back wanting to do right by you, but this person here, um, some of them aren't, and that's this person. They really haven't learned. It looked to me at first like they did, okay? They're definitely knocked down to size, but it's only because their stability has been knocked down. They're, they they really, and even though they are burdened by all of this, it's not enough to stop them from coming for your money. So when this person comes forward with the Ace of Wands in reverse, Cancer, don't do anything risky. Don't take any risks. Take your time deciding. Feel this out, right? Use your intuition. Yeah, look. It's just not love that they want, Cancer. It's not love that they want. I feel like, yeah, this is something that needs to come to an end. Because now people are going to start showing up, trying to sabotage and destroy your stuff. Okay? And, yeah, no. I feel like, too, with the Ace of Cups are coming out with death. I feel like the divine is pulling this blessing out. I feel like this is this is somebody who um yeah, they this is not this person doesn't get this blessing. They don't get your blessing, okay? They don't. Tower moment for this person. And the, you know, if they do this to you, Cancer, this is what is going to happen to them. That's what's going to happen to them. If they come in here love bombing you, saying they want a new beginning, but they just want your your money, and they try to trap you and they try to destroy what you've got or steal what you've got, um, the divine's going to bring things down for this for this pair. And I feel like they could end up losing a home. They may not even have enough money to pay their mortgage. They may not have enough money um, to pay their bills. And I feel like eventually the this, this stress is just going to bring down this tower. It could even be immediate because what they're trying to pull here is sick. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the divine is like, no, no new beginning. No new beginning. Uh, we're putting an end to this here. You see how the divine comes in here and just kind of interrupts this. Yeah, Cancer, I'm so sorry. I don't know who this is for, guys. It's not going to be for all of you, okay? But it's a warning that definitely needs to get, it needs to get out. Um, yeah, I feel like they're going to be feeling betrayed, feeling backstabbed, feeling um, in remorse. This person's going to be in a lot of pain. Once they try this, Cancer, and you turn this person away, boom, the tower hits, and boom, their life goes south real quick at karmic justice and the scales will be balanced the the um this ace of cups this blessing that was for them it's not going to be for them anymore it's over they can't have it anymore after that 
and the divine will bring down the tower in their life. I'm telling you. Once this person tries it, I feel like their character is getting tested here. I feel like they're going along with an evil, freaking, devilish plan to take from you, Cancer. But it's good. It's not going to feel like that. This person's going to love bomb you. They're going to, once again, promise you everything and just take. I wish I had better news, but that's what I'm seeing here, guys. Anyway, Cancer, yeah, I don't know who this is for, right? You Also, too, you could be dealing with the Scorpio, Libra, Leo, Pisces. Kind of heavy on the Pisces here, guys, and air signs, okay? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Anyway, Cancers, yeah, take it how it resonates, but just listen. Use your intuition with everyone who approaches you because, honestly, I can't, like, pluck you guys out of the crowd and say this is for you, 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 right? All I can do is tell you what I'm feeling, right, and tell you what I'm seeing in the cards. And um, this, is a, this is a big warning. They're going to play on your heartstrings, Cancer, and it's all a plan. It's a plan for this one. Not everybody's person is doing this, though, guys, so I don't want to freak everybody out, but... I don't know who this is for, so please use your discernment, okay? And be very careful who you're dealing with, all right? Anyway, Cancers, I love you guys. I am going to take this over to the extended. I want to dig a little bit more on this person and see what the heck are they thinking, okay? Um, what is going to actually happen here? I just want to dig a little bit more. So if you guys are interested in the extended, there's a link to follow at the bottom of my description box that'll take you right to Patreon. And um, just be careful, Cancer, okay? Handle everybody very carefully and your decisions, okay? And uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, guys, right? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe, right? Um... And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.